But here we go. Take a look at this, guys. This is going to knock your fucking socks off. And remember, this video was made two days ago. In here trying to bundle. I already started a revolution on this server. And y'all spent so much of your lives trying to find me. Come on, bro. That's pathetic. When I can just make an alt, it's fine. I, it doesn't matter. The goal is set. You can't stop me. If we take a look at the Google Trends data from just the past five years, we can see that as of today, 2B2T's popularity could reach an all-time high, even greater than the Russia war. And the crazy part is that the Etika war, or the Joy-Con war, or whatever you want to call it, it's not even in full swing yet. I can't imagine in the next few weeks when people get off of school and get off of work. I just can't even imagine what it's going to be like, and especially if Etika continues his series on 2B2T. Things are going to get ugly real quick. Etika might get his revolution after all. So what does this mean if you're a normal 2B2T player? What if you just want to go out there and survive and not worry about the war? Well, if you can make it through Q, and you can survive all the disconnections, you might be able to get out away from spawn and make a life for yourself in this crazy digital wasteland. And then you yourself can say that, yes, I survived on the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. Now, there are some people out there that'll say, well, Fit, you normally hunt YouTubers. Why are you doing this? Why are you helping Attica? Well, like I said, I'm a fan and I can't stand to see the way that he's been treated by the 2B2T community as of late, so I do not mind helping him one bit. Now, my normal 2B2T fans, don't worry. Even though the Etika situation's happening right now, I will still be putting out my normal, regularly scheduled 2B2T videos about the server's history. Yeah, man, anyways, so that, that right there should tell you guys what you need to know about the situation. Uh, there is a plan. We do have an agenda. Now, here's the only problem. Here's the only fucking problem. As fancy as all this sounds, as next level as all this sounds, everything has to begin somewhere, right? So you know how I told you guys I was gonna work on the nine base while I was off these last two days? Was I off of two days? I was off two days, yeah. I told you I was gonna work on the nine base and shit, but here's the thing. I got far, okay, so let me describe the situation to you right now as of what's going on in Spawn. Or rather, well, okay, we don't even, first off, should we talk about what's going on with me or should we talk about how the servers change? Because there's some dramatic effects that have happened and that are not just hot air being blown around, but there have been some very dramatic effects that have been going down ever since the, I declared war on the server. Ever since the beginning of the fucking nine invasion, bro, there's apparently a bunch of players, um, veterans. The veterans are actually mobbing the spawn location and they're trying to kill any newbies that they see. So apparently if you don't have a full armor set, and you try to play the game, let's just say you're not even trying to be involved in the war. What if you're, what if you're neutral, like the c civilians in Syria? Well, my friend, you're, you're still going to be dragged into it one way or another. This war affects everybody. And right now, the main point of it is all at the fucking spawn. They're trying to book ban niggas. They're trying to kill niggas. It, it, it's absolute fucking mayhem over there. Now, here's the good part of it. I actually managed to escape spawn. I somehow, some way, got through spawn before things got really bad. The queue has been absolutely fucked for the last few days. Even now, as you guys are seeing from the screen, priority queue takes about 275 slots. I started this priority queue literally two hours ago. And let me remind you that this is people paying $20 a month to get into the server. And when I was trying to get in earlier, I, I got some progress done, but that was at literally 12 p.m. Middle of the afternoon, no one's home, everyone's at school or work, and I waited at 200 for priority. What the fuck? So what in God's name is the queue looking like for the people who don't have the money to pay? What if you're too broke to pay? I feel like I need to start donating some money to some of the nine gangs so I can get more soldiers to pay for priority queue. But that's the fucking problem. The more people that are in priority queue, then the more backed up it's going to be. Paying for people, paying for soldiers to get in while the nine war is going on. I wouldn't be paying for it all year. I would just be paying for it for the two months of summer. I want this server for two months at least. And then I'll do whatever, I'll leave it, the, I'll do whatever. You know what, like, I just want a taste of tyranny. I want to feel what it's like to have uh, the nine gang run an entire fucking server where we, we can do what we want. But, dog, if that fucking queue isn't fixed, I don't know what the hell is going to happen. 
there is a little bit of a, a notice about that. Apparently, one of the veterans, one of the veterans of the server, uh, his name is Austic uh, One. He contacted the the founder of the server. He contacted the founder of Two B Two T. He's a guy named House, and he asked him, "Yo, listen, shit is crazy right now. We need something to be done about the the queue." So this is what he said: "Hi, House." A lot of rumors are going around that a pre etica queue was added. After seeing the post and an email you sent saying that it has not been added, I think it would be a good idea to add any sort, some sort of veteran queue because there are so many new players. And this is exactly what the guy said. Hi. No. So instant fucking denial right there. Um, as an effort in making more players being able to join. Wait, an effort into making more players being able to join is being made instead. Oh, so they're trying to overall somehow increase the they're working on it the, the server is somehow some way going to add something to it to make it easier for a bunch of people to get online because right now the shit is absolutely unplayable even fit himself last stream he was telling me that he had problems joining the game and he couldn't even play with us because of how crazy the priority queue is uh as you guys can see from my um, browser here i'm currently number 58 in the queue we still have time to kill before this is going down but you see, do you see this though? Do you see what kind of bitch made shit is this? Niggas are really trying to get a veteran only queue going on. So that way a Minecraft name that has been on the server for longer than I guess a year or something, you get veteran status and then you're able to join the server whenever you want while the fucking nine gang is forced to stay out in the cold because we don't have a name registered to the server for that long. Is that what they're trying to do to us?